here's a little reminder of the good old days back on Earth. Now fight to keep it that way for the rest of us, chickadee. This is lesson MCADG-A08, Placing Industrial Constructs. In this lesson, you will learn the proper steps in the planning and placement of constructs. Now that you have all the necessary oids and minerals, it's time to process them. Don't worry if you haven't found them all yet. You can search for more at any time. Let's look at the Elemental Depot and the Founder Depot. You'll find them in Build Mode, under Industrials. The Elemental Depot is used to combine all oids and turn them into elements. The Foundry Depot is used to combine all minerals and turn them into binary agents. We're going to select the Elemental Depot from the Industrials group and place them adjacent to the storage with the oids mask. And we're going to place it on the ground. Now we're going to take the Foundry Depot and place it next to the storage with the minerals mask. Once the depositories process the oids and minerals, they both must be put into a storage containment unit. To the depot, to another storage. Build mode. We're going to click on the storage containment unit and we're going to place it right between the two. Storage containment units must be adjacent to the depots. They can be above, below, or around the sides, but a diagonal will not work. Let's unpause. You might find that the utility drones are still collecting. Keep an eye on that cycle. Once it hits 10, our first wave is coming. Let's prepare the rest. The storage containment unit for the assembly depot is the one in the center. This storage will be used to combine both the elements and the binary agents. You're going to go into management mode that's left of the pause, and you will stop the utility drones from continuing their actions. And selecting the utility drone drop down, choose one of your utility drones, and you will see edit task masks. Click on this. Here is a list of all the commands that the utility drone will do based on a priority. If we remove one of these tasks, collecting, that means the particular drone will not collect anymore and we'll move on to the next priority, which is building. Once we are finished building, I will put back collecting and that drone will resume its previous commands. The utility drones are finishing their job. It took a while for this one because they were collecting at the same time from up above. Because they were collecting, you might notice that the cycles tallied up pretty quick. In two cycles time, an enemy wave will come. The first one is pretty easy. We don't have much and we have defenders. So at cycle nine and a half, we're gonna prepare ourselves for battle. I wouldn't worry too much at this stage. Let's move on. We have one storage now, which will combine both our elemental depot and our foundry depot. This is where it's going to come from when we send it to the assembly depot. The assembly depot takes the elements and binary agents from the storage and processes them into components and then places them in a new storage. So oids, minerals, elements and binary agents out to components. Let's filter the middle storage so that it only receives elements and binary agents and select it and it mask. We want elements and binary agents, therefore none. And in our list, we'll choose elements, all shown, binary agents, all shown. Exit out, priority one. Now we're going to go to build mode and select the assembly depot and place it in front of the storage. Assembly Depot, in front of the storage. We're going to place a new storage in front of that one. So as you can see what's going on here, elements and binary agents processing to components. And pause. We are now going to filter this storage to receive only, take a guess, that's right, components, oids, minerals, elements and binary agents, 
components industrial mode storage edit mask none components all shown priority one perfect you're getting the hang of this we're almost there now for the most valuable construct in the whole industry this depository you must protect it at all costs if you lose this one game over go to build mode and under depositories you will see mainframe depository with this you build everything you must protect it with your life and we'll place it right in front we're going to place one final storage unit and at the end we will edit the mask of the last storage unit to receive only constructs the enemy's coming we're just in time that mainframe depository was in the storage above ground fully exposed if this had gotten in the wrong hands game over so we brought it down just in time pause the game notice how slow he was to bring it each construct collectible and part in general has a specific weight and the units react accordingly because that is one heavy piece lastly as I said, we're going to filter out the storage for constructs only. Let's do that. Industry mode. Storage. Edit mask. None. Constructs. All shown. Close. Priority one. Close. Let's finish off by renaming them. So this last one. By clicking on the card, we open it up as well. You don't have to select the object. You can click on the card. Rename. Constructs. Rename. Components. Rename. Elements. Binary agents. And the last one at the top will disappear last step once we've adjusted all the filters we must relocate the content from the original storage containment unit and have the items automatically placed in the corresponding storages let's fast track our search up to the storage containment unit we're going to click the card and with one button, we will relocate content. Keep this in mind. Once we click it, the utility drones will begin to relocate everything in the storage to the highest priority with the proper mask. If any of our storages do not have a mask, which allows for the collection of a particular object, the drone will toss the object on the ground. You need to use the command collect to get them all unless of course they fall into lava and that's the end let's click relocate content storage is active fast forward that one the quantities will go down one more pause right on time the last step is to take this storage and deconstruct it and bring it down way down below to deconstruct you must go into build mode and it's a utility drone command at the top you will click deconstruct select the object and a utility drone will turn it into a collectible and pause 
now as its collectible state. We will go into excavate mode, collect, and grab it. And down at the bottom, we already have a place specially filtered for this. Just in time for our first wave. Let's have them store it and get our units ready for their first attack. All right, chickadee, break time's over. Next round, you go one-on-one -on -one with the recogs. <laughs> 